All your mink coat do-gooders who talk more about their rights and their duties throwing money at every problem they see. Fuck you, Chris, all right? Half the people I went to school with can't get jobs now. So, seal the borders, bring the jobs uh, back. There's more to life than Hello? cheap sneakers. There's, there's not a fraternity, all right? We're news network, we got work to Mel, do. Jim, I got this idea that hits exactly what you're talking about. What is it? Anybody want coffee? The orphans, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, Rachel, bring up JFK. Okay, you remember those old rock and rollers from years ago? They sang, We Are the World. Well, how about we get a copy of the old video of them singing their hearts out? You know, noble, caring humanity, the world coming together, a brighter day and all that shit. We intercut it with shots of these orphans. I mean, these orphans are alive, but hell, we could get some dead ones. You know, and, and you cut back and forth between these wonderful lyrics and maybe go instrumental like, uh, like uh, violins over the orphans. I mean, Christ, who in their right mind would ever tune that out and go to the home shopping network, I ask you, huh? Mel, the border just came alive. It's a hell of an idea, Matthew. Work on it. But also, you could superimpose the face of the rock musicians on the orphans to make them look like they're playing the instruments. Or you could take the, the orphans' faces and put them on the rock musicians and make them look like they're singing. Or you could take a hologram of one of the rock uh, uh, musicians and put them amongst the orphans. Lighten up. You could Big go Mexican to like a, a the border at San Jacinto. Marianne. You were farming. Marianne. Is anybody listening to me in Brownsville? Marianne, hello? Mel, I'm having trouble hearing you. There's huge numbers of Mexicans pouring over the border. I'm ready. I'm ready. And these people streaming across the Rio Grande from Mexico into Texas are moving north for the same reason as those in California, Arizona, and New Mexico. A fear that Governor Mel, Jim Farley's Mel, solution why might be... am I here in Boise? My parents crossed the border just like those people are now. I should be on the border, not Marianne Wong. Christina, I can't have Mexicans covering Mexicans and Arabs covering Arabs. Esa son mi gente. Yo no quiero estar aquí mientras que ellos tengan problemas. No, Mel, it's Ellen. Estás muy equivocada. Okay, people, teamwork. Let's go now to Los Angeles, where the mayor Javier Clark is speaking. Bienvenidos, amigos. Agradezco tu presencia hoy aquí conmigo. En vista de lo ocurrido en el estado de Idaho. Oh shit! Simul. Where the hell is simultaneous translation? Where's Domingo? Domingo? Domingo's wife is having a baby. Wait, wait, wait. Christina. Christina. Christina, honey, I need you to... Don't honey me. You cut me off. It, it, it was a snafu, darling. Please, listen to me. We're patching up a feed from L.A. Do me a favor and do the simultaneous translation. I'm a reporter, not a translator. Christina, I'm begging you, okay? For all that we've meant to each other, all we've meant to each other? Are you... Are you crazy? Never. Never. Y a pesar de lo que pasa en la nación, and there is no question of the so-called border being closed unless we agree. Just because Mr. Farley and his anglers want to set the clock back and keep us in our place for the next two centuries. Whatever the politicians up north want to do, that's their problem, but here it's different. The border is no longer just a matter for Washington or the Senor Farley's of the world. No. We have as much to say over the border as any bureaucrat in Washington. See, Los Angeles is not simply American territory anymore. I mean, just listen to our name, Los Angeles. What's Does that doing? sound like an English language? Letting us all know how much you've San meant to each other. Francisco, Las Vegas, no. These are the names that our people gave them before the lands were ripped from their ancestors and distributed among the Anglos. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, well, who do we have there, anybody? Mohammed Amin. We are trying to establish contact with reporter Mohammed Amin. Mohammed. Alina, you've seen the shooting. It is still going on. I saw three, maybe four snipers on the roof. One was wearing the color of one of the city's black gangs that have said that they will stop the Latinos from completely taking over Los Angeles. The black gangs have said that they will not recognize Mexican authority here. Does anybody here speak English? Yeah. Of the uh, I play English. No, no, no. Anybody? Hear me?
That is why I'm closing the damn border. Governor, Colonel McNally on the phone. <sighs> Governor, we can see two busloads of orphans being unloaded the other side of the border here. I, I just want to clarify our mission with uh, respect to these children. What do we do if they march them up between us and the federal troops? You could always tell when a crisis started really affecting us. When it gets too close to home, all the bad taste jokes cease. And when the orphans move up to the Idaho border, people start looking harder at the images of those kids, of the soldiers, and of ordinary people like themselves. What the hell are they doing bringing orphans into a fucking war zone? Really, for Christ's sake, shut up. We're taping you, moron. I'm gonna give this one a piece of my mind. Don't, don't go down there. Come on, fellas! Eddie, Eddie, what's going on? Show me a picture. What's happening there? You cocksucker! Hey, Mel. Hey, Mel. Uh, we were just um, uh, looking for my contact lens. Here it is. Oh, right great. See? All right, I guess we're ready then. Yeah, you got it. All right, let's shoot. Idiots. And with no sign that the deadline will be extended by the president, both sides are hardening their positions. Federal troops are arriving at Hill Air Base in northern Utah. So far, more than 8,000 combat-ready troops are there, under the command of General Charles Buford. Move, y'all. Buford was second in command of the army units sent into Algeria to rescue the hundreds of American oil workers facing execution by Islamic fundamentalists. I've been waiting 12 years for this candy ass. Hey, Chuck. Fuck you. Oh, no, you ain't. Not after what you did to us in the Persian Gulf, you. Oh, you puffed up piece of shit if you hadn't been chasing headlines. I was supposed to get into Q8 City first. Well, it was mine, goddammit. Whose fault was it that you stopped? for an interview with ABC News. And you lied to me about your position, didn't you? Of course I did, Chuck. It was a race, and I got to Kuwait first. Well, fuck you. Well, you're kind of a sore loser, aren't you, shithead? Elena, we have a picture now, no audio, however. Of General... There's an incredible dignity to something like this. There is. Two military commanders facing each other across a gulf of human passion. It's like General Lee and General Grant meeting after the Civil War. And Lincoln would have been waiting for Grant to report back to him. Wouldn't Lincoln have been dead by the time Lee and Grant met? Whatever. 